So the Whitfield and, and the Leet buildings are sold, mill building is sold, and we're here in the Chittenden building, and we're sitting uh, in a third floor unit, which is completely done. We're getting ready for this big party next week. But Jay, f thanks for coming on because there's so much we could talk about. Yeah, and I've <laughs> given like a, a brief little overview. Yeah. But what's as the project is is now coming to you know the final stage here. We've got nine units left. This is over a seventy million dollar project. Uh, you're working like crazy. You've got 120 contractors over here finishing the final building. Every day. We're pushing for that party, the 29th. So. Yeah. What, what sticks out to you here as, you, as you're finishing the project up? Um, just the amount of excitement around here. Uh, everybody involved, everybody that works for us is so excited to uh, show it to their family and show it off. And, and, uh, and just seeing the quality of the work, every, everybody's involved. So the town, downtown, everybody, everybody's together. One thing that's you can't find really a, a luxury building in Connecticut that's built type 2B construction, meaning all steel and concrete. Right. You're running all of the construction and all of the crews from yep. the from steel and concrete to the finish work. Why is type 2B construction so much better than like a stick built condo building? So, uh, for instance, if there's a fire um, in your unit, it would be contained to your unit, and the only thing that would really burn are combustibles like furniture and maybe the flooring and the cabinets. Everything else is fire rated. Uh, the walls are all steel as well. Um, so there's really nothing that can burn. And this isn't like a, a building where you're gonna hear somebody in the unit next door or the no, unit above you. No, uh, So <laughs> in between the floors, we have uh, five inches of concrete. And then uh, we put a homosoed material, which is uh, it's a softening material for like your legs and stuff and plywood on top of that. And then in between the units, it's a double wall, double sheetrock, uh, homosode. So it's it's very well built. Yeah, it's it's incredible. It, it's, yeah, we, we've got fantastic views here. If you do want to come to the party, Jay mentioned the party. It's June 29th, so it's this Thursday. We're kicking it off at 5 p.m. I mean, of course, we're gonna have you know band and food and, and drinks. Traveling bar today. Traveling too? bar. Traveling bar. Yeah. Uh, Nicole, what did you, what did you guys do here? A, a rolling bar? Uh, yeah, it's a, some kind of trailer bar that I guess it has bar seats. It's gonna be exciting. I don't. It's I don't gonna, know what to expect. It's gonna be very exciting. There'll be a lot of yeah. people here. But if you do want to come check out the project, we're going to have three units available to see on Thursday. Uh, one on the first floor, one on the second floor, one on the third floor. Correct, yeah. Uh, so you, you'll get to uh, see different views, th you know, different, there's a little bit different architecture, like the, the unit that we're sitting in right now on the third floor is a little bit different than the second and the first floor. So you can be able to get to uh, view the community, 66 High Street, as well as some units, and then have a great time at the party, which is 5 to 9, 66 High Street in Guilford. All of the 94 Niners that listen to Real Estate Radio are welcome, uh, certainly welcome to let somebody know who's looking for luxury living. We have a lot of residents here, Jay, that are like, you know, have a tie to New York or a tie to Boston or both. Correct. Right. And and this is a great place to not deal with those traffic communities. I mean, the cities right now have a lot of challenges because you've got, um, you know, people that don't want to be downtown. That's why you're seeing vacancies in the offices and people want to be in locations like this. Correct where you can get close access to the city if you need to go in a little bit, uh, but you want luxury living. People are treating these units like a hotel room. They might have a second or third property yeah. and they know they can leave and not worry about a thing. Right. We actually have people that live here and they have family in Boston and in New York, so they wanted a central location and this was the best thing they could find. <laughs>